Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Eat More Plants With Me. Um, today I will be doing a food review of Burger King. So here you have a bag full of Burger King. You can see the grease coming through the bottom, but it's fast food, so that's what I guess we should expect. Um, I am not promoting fast food, but I just do think it's pretty exciting to see plant-based options at fast food places. If I think about 10 years ago or even definitely 20 years ago, we would have never really expected to see so many things so accessible to people who wanna have other options. So I have to admit this isn't my first time trying it. Two days ago, we went to get one from Burger King and I gave it kind of a harsh review. In my opinion, it was a 6.5 out of 10. And I think it was mostly because well, first of all, I wasn't really hungry because I had a big smoothie beforehand. Um, ordering it wasn't easy. Like, it was crowded. I don't think they were that familiar with the product yet. Um, we asked for it without mayo, and it came with mayo. So just, and I thought the price was a lot. I still think the price is a lot. But let's see how it is. So my husband actually was so nice and he went to Burger King and got this for me. Um, and I got a Impossible Whopper, which is what this review will be focused on. But then he went ahead and picked up for me a Dutch apple pie, which is vegan probably just by accident because I can't see them wanting to make it vegan. It's probably just cheaper to use margarine. So. Like I said, I know this isn't healthy and it's not necessarily good for you, but it's something if you need it in a pinch. So I'm gonna open this up. Okay, you got your classic sesame seed bun. Let's see, and yay, no mayo. So you can see what's in there. Um, ordering it, I know there's been a lot of stuff out there on the internet about people complaining about the way that it's cooked. If you're actually vegetarian, um, or like if you're a purist, you worry about cross-contamination. And so if they make it on the broiler, it's the same broiler they flamed the beef on. And so you have to ask them not to cook it on the broiler. And in that case, um, they cook it in the oven, which means the microwave. So, I mean, I don't know. And I think the first time we ordered it, we asked for it to not be cooked on the broiler and they cooked it on the broiler because if you look at it, it's just a plain patty. And on the other side, it's also just a plain patty. But when we got it the first time, there were the little stripes from the grill. So I guess we had the cross contaminated one the first time. But let's go ahead and see. I mean, here you go. Just look at it. I have to say, I'm really underwhelmed. I gave it a 6.5 the first time, but it was definitely cooked on the broiler the first time. I can taste such a big difference. I'm gonna take another bite. It's nothing special. It doesn't even have a distinct flavor to it. If anything, I could taste the ketchup and the pickles and the onions more than the patty. The first time I ate it, I thought the patty had a really good flavor to it. Like it tasted kind of like really. This one, I mean, it's so clear they cooked it in the microwave. It's like, if I, can you hear that? Yeah, that's the edge of it is like hard. The inside's a little bit softer. I wouldn't even say it tastes that good plain. My complaint the first time was that I couldn't taste the patty because it's so thin and the bread was so big. Um, I don't think I'd be coming back to get this again. Uh, I think it's great if you are traveling and it's a road trip, 100% way better than the other alternative, which was just bread and lettuce and tomato. Um, this definitely wasn't made for vegetarians 
because I think if it was made for vegetarians, you wouldn't have to order it so special and ask without mayo and cook differently. Um, but I do think that it's good that people might be able to just order it who might have gotten beef before. I don't know if it's even healthier. When I looked online, it looked like the saturated fats and the calories were almost similar. And it's, oh, it's also really expensive. If they were making this to try to make meat eaters try to not eat meat all the time, I think they fail, at least where we live. It might be cheaper where you guys are at, but this one burger was $7.49 and it's cooked in the microwave. If you did a combo, it would be over 10 bucks. Yeah, so I don't see someone who is a meat eater wanting to spend an extra three, three fifty, four dollars $4 on something that isn't meat just because it's not me. Like, I don't, I just don't see somebody wanting to do that. Um, I read it should, was it, the price should have been $5.59, but for some reason, our Burger King, $7.49 for just the sandwich. All right, so let's see, maybe I'll like this better. Maybe I'll give it a better rating. Open this up. I will say this is warm. I mean, that's nice. Oh, it looks like a cute little piece of pie. I don't know, can you see it well? There, there you go. So, let's see. Got some apple slice in there. It's a little soggy, but it's not bad. I mean, it tastes cinnamon, apples, doesn't taste like gross in your mouth, like crappy ingredients, even though I'm sure it has some in there. I would order this before I ordered that burger. So I guess I would say my review of the Impossible Whopper is, I would say like a five out of 10. I would give it two thumbs down. Um, or maybe a thumb and a half down because I do think it's nice to have an option. I think if it's priced better in other places, other people will buy it, which has a good, um, a good uh, impact on our environment. So I think that's nice, but it didn't really taste good. I think I, I can make one from my freezer in the microwave and it would taste better than this one. All right, guys, talk to you later. Oh, if you want to see me do a review of anything else, let me know in the comments. Thank you.